Would you like more energy, engagement, and creativity the next time you present online? The solution is simple. Stand up. Yep, that's it. Stand up. I've been standing for three years now when I host webinars, when I do coaching sessions, or I give speeches. And it has helped me be more engaged, uh, more energetic, and definitely more creative. I think best on my feet. Now, granted, I don't have the same amount of room to work around as I do on a big stage, but the camera still allows me to move left to right or back and forth. So, I mean, I've got some room to work with. Highly recommend you do this. When I look at videos of when I was sitting and presenting three years ago versus today, it's night and day. Now, there are a couple of caveats here to think about. Number one, you've heard about in previous tips, microphone placement and also camera placement. So you want to make sure that your camera is, is seeing you eye level. And the best way to do that is to temporarily, if you not, haven't done this before, just get some books or get some Amazon boxes. I'm recording this three days after Christmas of 2020. I know you got Amazon boxes somewhere around the house, uh, but lift your camera up, also your, your laptop, just to test it out, but we want that eye level. You also want to make sure your, your uh, microphone is picking up your voice because you, you have a tendency to move around. So you got to test that to make sure your voice isn't fading that we're still hearing that. Uh, but definitely stand up, test this out, especially if you're going to be doing this as a permanent part of your work or your business. Again, virtual is here to stay. We need to have more energy from you online if you want us to stay engaged. Make sure you check out tomorrow's tip because there is one downside to standing and presenting that I found, but tomorrow's tip is a simple solution. Hopefully that's enough of a tease to get you to come back tomorrow. See you then in tip number 12.